So this is some of the elements of the operation of the UNI-T UT505A insulation tester. Uh, I've got one of the leads hooked up to one terminal and then there's around about a 2 mega ohm resistor across these terminals to go through it. I'm actually using, get on this, this is the Fluke remote probe. The UNI-T itself doesn't come with a remote probe, you have to buy that as an option. So I looked through the selection that I had to see if one would fit, and the Fluke one does actually fit okay. Um, if I turn this around to a 100 volt terminal, you can see when I press the button, you get a reading up on there. It's got over range at the moment because everything is open circuit. If I plonk it onto one of the terminals, you see it drops back down to the two mega ohms. And you also notice that this insulation tester, unlike all the others that I've got, a single press of the test button, either on the remote probe or on the meter itself, starts off doing the insulation test. You can see the little red lights lit up there, and it keeps going to stop it, hit the button again, and then it stops the test. All the others that I have, you have to hold the test button on, and as soon as you let go, it will stop the test. In order to get to lock on, you have to use either the time function or a lock function. The other thing about this instrument on these ranges, insulation ranges, it varies. Uh, I think it's one mega ohm on these two ranges, and on the other range, it's four mega ohms. So any resistance below that will actually produce an alarm on the tester continuous, and you can't change that. It uh, just keeps going. Start the test, you can see we're open circuit at the moment. Plonk it on, drops below, and you see you get this continuous beeping alarm until the insulation goes up above four mega ohms for that particular range. Not sure why that's there, it's more of an annoyance more than anything else, really. If I let go, you see the beeping goes. Okay, so you have a, a time function and a pi and dar function on this instrument. You can press the time function and you'll see here it goes through various ranges, a single 15 second, 30 second, or a one minute test, then starts to move on to some dial ratios. And then it doesn't show the, the final pi ratio, it just gives the 10 minute function. So uh, let me go back to them for a 15 second test. So during a normal timed function, if I hit the go button, time out obviously it's going to beep it's going to beep for 15 seconds and you can see that there's no timer on here functioning you just get a reading of the 2 mega ohm or whatever insulation you've got there test is finished and there's the, the reading for you if you go to the pi or a dar function the display changes so if I go for the test now you can see now you're actually gone down to a timer on the display and you don't get the actual insulation reading value which again for a DAR test is not quite so bad for, for a PI test you'd really want that insulation value so you'd be able to record it intermittent readings to give you your actual RT graph as opposed to just your two ratio values Soon enough, of it, I'm going to stop him because he's really annoying. So it should come back once you've the test is completed. You can then recover the different values. You can also, whilst the test is ongoing, is change the voltage. You can see up there the voltage that's staying there, uh, which you can't do on a lot of instruments. But this one, either before the test or during the test, you can use these buttons. There you go, it's finished its test. It's got a 999. Um, it can't find a, a ratio because it just doesn't, it didn't record actual insulation values. Um, it's not actually, that's interesting. The instrument's actually stayed on. Hmm. Oh, I've not seen it do that before. So it couldn't record a value, but it kept the test going. Hmm, okay. That needs a little bit more investigation, shouldn't do that. Hmm. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, um, 
you can once you've so the one minute reading was 200 mega ohm 15 second reading was 2.08 mega ohm and obviously it can't record a, the ratio value there but it would have displayed that ratio value it has been doing that uh, when you've got a proper reading at the uh, one minute time 